Hello, my name is Trishanda Moten. I'm a senior aerospace systems engineer at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. I was asked to answer a few questions uh, about my job, my role as a mission systems engineer um, at NASA Goddard, and also about what got me interested in engineering and uh, as well as give some insight for students who are interested in seeking careers in STEM. So here goes. Uh, I've been working at NASA Goddard uh, for quite a while. Um, I've worked in this field for about 20 years and I've been at Goddard for the past nine years. Um, I worked in various areas of aerospace engineering from thermal engineering, aerodynamics and propulsion systems, um, flight dynamics, computational fluid dynamics, uh, research and development for uh, next generation launch technology, as well as um, future aerospace advanced concepts uh, such as nuclear thermal propulsion for um, enhanced nuclear rocket engines. Um, and so I've done quite a bit of work uh, and covered a vast area, vast areas in the aerospace uh, industry. Um, currently, I'm a mission systems engineer and I work for the Mission Engineering and Systems Analysis Division at Goddard. In this role, I provide end-to-end -end mission systems engineering support to projects that are managed at Goddard. I work with scientists and engineers to enable scientific discovery and to help with technology development and advancement in support of NASA's uh, exploration and science activities. Um, I became interested in space probably in 1986. Uh, I'd always been interested in the stars and in uh, some aspects of astronomy as a kid, uh, but I was in middle school in 1986 uh, and was planning to do a science project on Halley's Comet. Um, it was supposed to come a return to Earth or view, be viewable at Earth uh, in February of 1986, and it did. Uh, but I was uh, also working on, uh, very excited about the Space Shuttle Challenger launching. Um, it was happening, scheduled to happen in January of 86. And as we all know, the Space Shuttle Challenger, uh, there was a disaster, it exploded. Uh, right after launch, and that became a very tragic, it was a very tragic event that was covered widely in the news. Um, as a child, I didn't know much about the science around what caused the space shuttle to explode, but I was very interested in learning and reading magazines, and I really got interested and became interested in that and got all the information that I could from uh, just reading and um, actually asking questions from my science teachers. So that became my space, uh, my science project for that year. And at the end of the spring, I had competed at the regional and county level and uh, some friends had joined with me in developing the project further and we ended up winning project of the year. So it was a very exciting time for me. And I became very interested in pursuing uh, some area of space as a career. And I didn't really know, it wasn't called STEM back then, it was just called uh, Space and Science Engineering. So at the time, I was just uh, looking at careers in math and science, and I was very good at math and science and studied a lot of that um, uh, beyond the normal uh, course load. I did some advanced uh, algebra and algebra two and geometry all during middle school and um, we had uh, some very capable teachers who were really interested in getting girls uh, into these fields. And so we had math competitions. I was a member of the math club. And also by the time I was in high school, we had formed a science club and uh, joined the science club. And so those are two of the groups that uh, were very supportive. We had a lot of students that were, quite a few students who were interested in math and science um, remarkably. And so we did a lot of competitions. Um, we studied together, did a lot of our, you know, schoolwork together, after school projects, did um, rocket system designs. Um, we also built a moon buggy uh, with a, a group from a, a local uh, campus that came down to, uh, to assist us for a project. Um, so uh, that's what really got me interested and I continue to pursue those type of uh, those areas of study in high school. And it was my physics teacher who encouraged me to study aerospace engineering in college since I was so into rockets and, aer and airplanes. I was really wanting to work on those designs. Um, 
other groups that helped me uh, be motivated and keep to keep going on this career path I'd say um, one thing that was useful was that I was, in addition to the Math and Science Club, I was also the Student Government Association president. I was uh, involved with the Drama Club, the debate team. All of those helped me to develop relationships, to become well-rounded, well definitely helped with my confidence level, the competition aspects of those clubs, um, activities, and uh, was really great. I also was in the marching band, and that taught me great discipline. Um, Define leadership. Uh, I'd say leadership is the art of creating inspiration and motivating people to work with you toward a common goal. Um, I was SGA president when I was in high school, and not only did we take on issues that affected students at the school, but we formed community cleanup efforts and organized those efforts on the weekends. Um, we also helped uh, with voter registration drives for students that we knew who were graduating and would be eligible to vote by graduation. So that was something else we did outside of uh, our regular school activities. But it was great being able to start uh, as a leader in those capacities because it gave me uh, the opportunity to, to lead in the future. Um, let's see, some pipeline, some STEM careers that are uh, available, what STEM careers can you study globally? Um, I'd say there are many STEM careers. Uh, it's engineering, it's science, any aspects of engineering, science, technology, um, any kind of, uh, you could become a doctor, you could become a nurse, a nurse practitioner, or a physician's assistant, physician assistant, um, psychologist, um, in addition to all the different disciplines of engineering, there's civil engineering, there's computer engineering, aerospace engineering, as I mentioned, mechanical engineering, um, industrial engineering, civil engineering, there's architectural engineering um, that's used for developing um, advanced um, architecture structures. So that requires uh, a lot of uh, skills in math uh, and science. Um, there are, you can become a biologist. I mean, right now we're dealing with the COVID. There are so many careers that are just being uh, put out in the forefront right now. The virologists who are trying to develop a vaccine or trying to understand the virus, biomedical engineers who are trying to understand how these biology, uh, biological things are affecting the body. Um, there are biomechanical engineers who are developing robots to do certain technology advancements such as certain surgeries um, and also things that are useful to to us in everyday life. Um, so there are a lot of careers that are available um, that uh, students should consider, a lot of areas um, that are really great to, uh, to look into. I'd suggest you look on the internet and see what other things interest you, uh, what kind of careers, uh, do a search for STEM careers and see what else is out there that might be of interest to you. Um, what advice do I have for a young woman wanting to enter into the male-dominated uh, traditional uh, field of non-traditional field? Um, I would say think about what you'd like to do uh, when you grow up and talk to your parents about it. Um, design a plan to study your math and your sciences and, and work really hard in those areas. Um, also, Find areas where you can do extracurricular activities or other subject matter that interests you, such as English. I studied English and also studied it in college. Um, ended up getting a minor in English as well as a minor in mathematics, along with my physics bachelor's degree. And then I obtained my master's degree in aerospace engineering. So having a vast, um, I guess, set of, of knowledge and a vast set of uh, activities to study increases your knowledge. And it gives you confidence in different areas and it helps you be able to be well-rounded and to appreciate um, careers in, in all areas and also helps you to adapt your career by uh, bringing in your diversity of things that you've learned um, throughout your life and being able to apply those to any career. Um, with regard to STEM fields still being male-dominated, I would say um, know that just by choosing to get involved in STEM fields and pursuing a career in that area 
whatever STEM career you decide um, as a woman, we become one step closer to closing this gap uh, in the male dominated field of STEM careers. Uh, but above all, I'd say pursue your dreams, believe in yourself, and know that you're just as capable as any man in this field. I hope that helps. Thank you for your time. Good luck.